So it's the 25th of September. I've been in the UK since the 12th. I'm about 12 to 16 minutes. So now we're going to take photos because I'm doing a campaign with this new store in Manchester. I'm just so hungry and tired. Okay, these people are keeping me from starving. Um, I'm so glad they left food for me. I'm just making a coffee. Yeah, and going back to more study. Today is the 27th of October and I'm going to talk with you about what is the student life because I feel like before I came I had no clue of what this would really be like. So what I'm going to talk with you about today um, depends on your country, um, so this is specific to the United Kingdom. It depends on your university, some universities are more demanding than others. Obviously this depends on your course, so like engineering, sciences and all of that. Um, they have a lot of contact hours, that means they spend a lot of time in university having classes with a teacher, lecturer, doesn't matter. Um, in my course that is law with politics, I have a lot less than that, so I would have one hour or two per day with a lecturer or tutor in a seminar and all of my day would be free. That means that I have all those hours to do my work. So when I say in university life you have to jumble a lot of things means that you have a lot of things that you need to have in your mind when you're preparing your schedule. So you got your classes and you have all that free time and what are you gonna do with that? So be aware that you have to prepare academically for your classes. That means doing readings and that you need to prepare for your seminars that would involve answering some questions based on some readings that they will ask you to do. Then you have your social life. Um, you might have events to attend on university. You might have socials in your accommodation. You might have a party on a society I don't know, it really depends on what are your interests and all of that. Remind yourself that you need time to do that, obviously. That's probably time that you're not going to sleep to have a social life, but yeah. University is for a lot of people the first time that they're living alone. And with this comes a lot of responsibilities. You have to manage your finances, you have to budget, you have to pay your bills, you have to buy your food, you have to cook your food. You have to do your laundry, you have to clean your room, you have to register with a doctor, you have to go to your bank and deal with all that stuff. Then you are expected to be part in societies. On one hand it's good because you are spending time with people that are like-minded and you spend your time doing something that you actually enjoy. But on the other hand, do you really have time? for societies. That's that's really the question. I know a lot of people do it and that's great. You are expected by law firms at least um, to be in societies. They ask you a lot about it. Then you need to have time for your career. Yeah I know like career. You're on your first year. You just started it and people are already talking about your career and I personally thought that was crazy but that's the way it is. So you need to create your LinkedIn, you need to go to events related to the career path that you want to pursue, apply for internships, apply for open days, there's a lot you can do and you are expected to do that. Then on top of that you have to be aware of your mental health, uh, you need time to stop, to meditate, to do yoga, I don't know what helps you. You need to have time for yourself because all of this 
is gonna come to you and it's gonna be overwhelming and that's completely normal because university is overwhelming it's supposed to be challenging and at one point you're gonna question yourself and like can I really do this and you need to stop breed and tell yourself that you can do it then your physical health um, go to the gym play sports do something that is good for your body I don't know and on top of that, you might have a relationship. In my case, I do have one and it's really hard to have time. But you have to make time because it's a priority in your life. And then you might work. Having a job part-time, full-time. A lot of people need to have a job in university and that's what makes it really, really hard because you have all these things. And you have 24 hours per day, 7 days per week, how? How do you put all of this? And the key to that is time management. Then on top of that, you have your family back home, you have our friends back home, and they're expecting to hear from you, especially your family. This is a university life. It's not just studying, it's not just spotting. There's a lot more, so you need to be prepared for that. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!